Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this week's video we're going to be taking a look at one of the new add-ons in Slider Evolution 5.4 and that's the custom 404 page. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can activate that plugin and how we can set everything up to create customized 404 pages that helps add a little character or a little bit of animation and effect for people to get lost on your website or find dead links. So we're going to create something like this that's on screen in front of us at the moment and let's check out how we can do all of that right now. Okay, so I've got the admin section of WordPress open and what we need to do is go into Slider Evolution and first of all download and activate the 404 add-on. So what we need to do is come over to the left hand side of Slider Revolution and choose add-ons. Once we've done that, that'll load that up and you can see all of the add-ons that we have available to us, whether they're installed or not, will be listed in here. So we're going to scroll down until we find the 404 option. And this is where it is and you can see it currently, it's not active, I've already downloaded it. It's at version 101 at the time of recording this video and as always, check for an update to make sure that you've got the latest version available to you. If not, download the latest version to make sure you've got everything in place. So what we're going to do is going to click activate this. That will activate the plugin and make that option available. So you can see that nothing really changes, we just now get the option to configure. Now before we configure anything, we need to go and set up the actual slider itself. So if we click on configure at the moment, you can see we've got a couple of options available to us and we'll come back in a moment once we've set up our slider and we'll then activate that option and go and fine tune it to make sure it does what we want. So let's just close that down and let's go over to slider revolution itself and then we can start creating our new slider. Okay, I've come in now and I'm ready to start working with Slider Revolution. I've clicked to create a new slider and I'm now ready to input the basic information. Now there's two ways that this 404 plugin can work. We can use it with a full screen slider only, so it doesn't rely on a page, or we can create a custom page and include a slider inside that page itself. Now the Options are pretty much the same if you're used to creating sliders with Slider Revolution and creating and inserting those into pages. Nothing really changes, you just set up the slider you want, add that to the page. For this example, we're going to concentrate on just setting up the slider and setting that up to be the 404 itself and not use the page option. So all we're going to do is we're going to give this a name and we're going to call this missing. Now, one thing I found out was don't call it 404 because it does tend to throw a little bit of an error telling us there's a record not found, which I'd assume is probably uh, WordPress itself not liking that naming convention. So stick to something that makes sense to you, missing page, something along those lines, but don't stick to 404 because, like I say, that does cause a problem. So we've named it, we've given it an alias. I can now come down and I can choose the type of slider that I want. I could even, if I wanted to at this point, go in and choose any different kind of content. So let's just say, for example, that you were uh, created a, an online shop with WooCommerce. You may find that you want your 404 page to do something like show a couple of different products on there, popular products, whatever you want. Well, you could choose WooCommerce to be the source for that particular slider. Any of these options will work. It depends on how you want to do it. And we've covered most of these in our own dedicated video. So if you need more information about each one of these different options, I'd recommend checking out the Slider Revolution playlist, which I'll link up in the top corner and also in the description below. So you can take a look at all the videos in there. So we're going to keep this simple. We're going to just say we want a default slider. We're going to come down. We're going to set this to be a hero scene because I only want one image for this. But obviously you can use any different type of slider on there, standard slider, carousel, and so on. We set this to be a hero scene and I come down and I'm going to choose for this example full screen because I want this to take up the entirety of the screen no matter what size screen we're working with. I could leave it there if I wanted to or I can come over and I can adjust any of the normal general settings, layouts and so on. But we're going to keep it simple for this example and we'll say save settings. That will then take us over and we're now ready to start creating our normal slider. Now because we're doing a hero slider we only need one image so we're going to set slide one to be missing so we'll just give that a name so it makes some sense I'm going to come to the main and background image and we're going to choose media library and from there we're just going to choose something that I think is relevant and I'm going to use this sort of lost at sea kind of picture so we insert that in and you can see we now have if we scroll down our placeholder and it kind of is quite fitting for a 404 page where you might find that you're kind of uh, lost so We've done the basics and we could leave it there, but obviously we need to give some feedback to the poor so-and-so that ended up straying off course and find themselves on a missing link. So we're just going to go through now and just click to add a new layer. We'll do a text HTML layer and we'll set this to be oops. 
and we'll click OK on that. We'll align that to the center, both horizontally and vertically, and now we'll just set up some parameters for that. We're going to change the color of this, and we'll change the weight and so on. So we'll set the color to be black in this example, so it stands out of the background, and we'll set this to be 80 pixels, and we'll set the line height of 90, just to give it a bit of extra space, and we'll set the weight to be 800, so it kind of stands out a little bit better. We'll do exactly the same again now. We'll just do another text HTML layer, and we'll just put in a little bit of information on this. We'll get rid of the extra oops on there, and we'll just say this is not the page you're looking for. Again, we'll do the same thing, so we'll align that to the center, horizontally and vertically, and then we'll just take that down a little bit, make sure you're all lined up, and do the same again. We'll just set this to be, go for 36 pixels on this one, and go for 40 on the line height. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna jump over and we're gonna put a background color in this. We'll set that to be black, and we'll set it to be partially transparent. And then we'll just finally come in and we'll put some extra spacing in this. We'll put some padding in there of 20 pixels just to give it a bit of space around the outside edges. And there we go. We just need to drop that down ever so slightly. I'll make sure it's all lined up. And if we want to, we could animate that. So let's just add a little bit of animation in there. We'll offset these a little bit. And we'll just leave it at that. And we just, yeah, that should be pretty good. We just need to now choose what animation effects we want. And we'll just go something along the lines of, we'll go long from top. And do the same for that one as well. We'll do long from top on that one as well. So there we go. Let's just hit save on that now. And we've created our page. So all we need to do now is test that out once we've gone in and set up the settings. So we just need to jump back into the add-on section. And now we can go in and tell the 404 add-on what page to use or what slider to use for our 404 page. So let's go to configure. So you can see we now have a couple of simple options. We've got activate 404 mode. Yes, we do. We want to turn that on. What kind of content do you want to display? Do you want to display just a slider or do you want to display a page? If we leave slider set, you can see it now asks us what slider do you want to use. If we choose page, it'll ask us what page do you want to use. So we go back to slider. Missing is the one that we want, so that's fine. And we're going to give the page a title. So there's something on there for the search engines to pick up on if it sees it. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. So we now hit save on that. We can close that down. If we just jump back to our missing page. All I'm going to do now is just put something in at the end, which I know is not a page, and we'll just hit enter. And there's our 404 page. As you can see, all the animation, everything is there. Pretty cool. If we want to add some buttons to say, do you want to search the site or do you want to go to the home page or so on? You can do anything you want on this slider in exactly the same fashion you would with any other slider inside of Revolution 5. And that's it. That's all there is to creating your custom 404 pages using the slider Revolution 5.4. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. And if you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.